going to show you how to use our uh, eight foot snowmobile ramp. Uh, we call it the whiteout. Um, it's a three piece component. Um, you get side ramps, which are 78 inches. Uh, the center piece is eight feet. The reason we do that is so we can offset the uh, the track and the skis. So when the skis hit the, the, the plastic uh, slides, your track's already on the, the traction surface. It uh, works pretty nice. Another optional piece that we highly recommend is a, a three foot helper ramp. It has a little hook on that basically just hooks into the center ramp and it's highly recommended for the higher trucks if you're using snowmobiles with studs, um, if you're loading on ice, any slippery pavement. One thing you don't want to do is when you're loading is, is spin your track because um, what's going to happen is you're going to spin your track on the, on, the, on, the, on the flat surface and once it hits the ramp you're just going to rip up into the truck. And, what you want to do is when you load, is you want to do a, uh, a constant speed. Um, you don't want a horse on the throttle. You just want to drive it up like, like you norm, normally would drive up a small hill. Um, some of the features we have, we highly recommend um, for this, is if you want to zoom in here, we have a, uh, it's called an, an Alumalock um, tailgate system. Um, what, what it does is allow a permanent attach, a positive attachment of the ramps. We have a hook on the ramp as well as a flat plate and it eliminates the use for safety straps and any kind of slippage. It's really the safest system on the market. All you do is drop the ramp into the into the to the tailgate bracket and it locks it in and there's no possible way that ramp could slide off of there. Here we're going to show you how to use the safety straps for the snowmobile ramp. Uh, like I said before, we highly recommend the use of the Alumalock tailgate bracket. It's the safest system out there. Um, we understand there, there is going to be a need sometimes to possibly use the ramp without it. Um, so we, we include cam buckle safety straps. One end has a loop. The other end has an S hook. And we have two brackets on the side ramps. They're both on the same side. All you do is slide the loop through the hole. Like so. Put the hook end through the loop. Pull it tight. From this point, you want to find a positive uh, metal spot on the truck, whether it's the frame or the metal bumper. Make sure you're not connecting to any type of plastic fascias or, or anything like that. And you want to you want to connect the strap straight in line with the ramp. Pull it tight. Um, one thing you don't want to do is offset it really far because what it's going to want to do is pull the ramp over and it's going to loosen the strap. So uh, find a nice spot behind the bumper, pull that nice and tight. Um, that's the side ramps, you want to hook up two of them for the side ramps. For the center ramps, the same principle. Once again, you have a loop and a hook. This one here, you go around the main beam. Once again, same thing, you put the hook through the loop. Pull it tight. Hook it to the vehicle. And pull it tight. Um, we're going to actually take the straps off because we have a Lumilock tailgate protector on. We don't need it. Um, and then we're going to show you how to load. Uh -huh. 